In this video, we will show you how to install a Baldwin conversion kit for an active escutcheon or sectional trim. The tools needed for this project are a Phillips head screwdriver, flathead screwdriver, pliers, tape measure, goggles, and the provided Allen wrench. First, loosen the set screw using the Allen wrench provided. Remove the knob or lever from the spindle. Next, for a single cylinder escutcheon trim, extend the deadbolt and remove the 8-32 by 5 8 inch oval head screws. Secure the inside turnpiece and remove assembly. For a double cylinder, simply unscrew the inside cylinder collar and remove it. Next, remove the rosette from the adapter. Remove the 10-32 by 1 and 1 quarter inch screws, securing the inside adapter. Discard the adapter and screws. For a single cylinder, unscrew the 10-32 by 1 and 7 8 inch pan head screws. Remove the outside cylinder and inside turnpiece mounting plate. For a double cylinder, remove both inside and outside cylinders as well as the cylinder base. Remove the spindle and spacer and discard. Unscrew the 1 inch round screw cover from its base. Supporting the handle set with one hand, unscrew the lower longer screw and remove that screw and screw base. Remove the handle set. Remove the 8 by 3 quarter inch combination screws securing the latch. Remove the latch and discard. Save the screws for the new latch. Both the section and escutcheon conversion kit installations are the same. To continue the transformation, we will use the sectional trim. Remove the number 6 32 by 7 16 inch screws that secure the thumb lift cartridge to the handle set. Discard the cartridge and the screws. Remove the thumb piece and discard it. Then insert the new thumb piece into the handle set. Position the new thumb lift cartridge against the handle set, making sure the lugs on the thumb piece seat onto the pockets in the cartridge. Locate the new thumb lift cartridge over the screw posts and secure it with the new 6 32 by 7 16 inch screws provided. The post on the cartridge should be at the top and the face of the cartridge should be flush with the surface of the handle set. Screw the lower post into the threaded hole at the bottom of the thumb lift cartridge and tighten. To finish the installation, we will be using the escutcheon product. Your latch is shipped with a 2 and 3 8 inch back set, which is the most common bracket. For a 2 and 3 quarter inch back set, grasp body and twist face plate 180 degrees until it stops. Insert latch with angled side of bolt facing the door jam. Secure with 8 by 3 quarter inch combination screws from the original latch so the latch is flush with the door. Attach handle by inserting the 10-32 by 2.5 inch pan head screw on inside of the door through screw base and the lower hole. Leave screw loose for adjustment. Measure the thickness of your door. If your door measures 1 and 3 quarters, slide the provided spacer onto the spindle. Install short end of spindle through alignment fitting and latch with V-groove on the long end angled down and toward the hinge until swage on the spindle is against the latch. Insert the inside adapter onto the posts of the outside handle set. Secure with two 10-32 by 1 and 1 quarter inch screws, leaving screws loose for adjustment. Extend deadbolt with flathead screwdriver. Keeping tailpiece vertical, insert cylinder through outside handle set and into deadbolt. Hold in place. Do not insert key at this time. Place turnpiece mounting plate on inside of door. Attach it to the cylinder using two 10-32 by 1 and 7 8 inch pan head screws. Tighten the screws. It's important to note the orientation of the mounting plate as shown. 
Then, insert cylinder tailpiece into inside turnpiece. Attach inside turnpiece to mounting plate with two 8-32 by 5 8 inch oval head screws. For double cylinder escutcheon trims, be sure to line up the inside cylinder slot with the inside cylinder collar base. Make certain turn knob rotate smoothly in both directions. Tighten all screws. including screw for bottom handle. Position rosette onto adapter, making sure that if it has a third and smaller slot, it is facing down. Snap rosette into place, and slide knob onto spindle, and tighten set screw with Allen wrench. The knob or lever is secured when set screw enters V-groove in spindle. Attach bottom screw cover. Now you're ready to enjoy your newly converted active escutcheon or sectional trim from Baldwin.